Here we have a Sony VIA E-Series 15. My model number for my laptop is SVE 15-1A-11W. We're going to open up and explore the insides. Sony has a few models of these, even though they are E-Series, they don't have to be the same model number to be the same. So we're going to flip to the back to begin. So now we have it lying down. Remember to put your laptop on something soft so you don't damage or scratch it when you move it around. So we're going to remove the battery first if you haven't removed it. Next, we're going to remove the DVD drive. There's one screw holding the DVD drive here. Next, we're going to remove the hard drive. There's two screws holding the hard drive down. One there, the second one's there. This is actually to remove the hard drive cover. After removing the hard drive cover, you'll have to remove another screw. So after you remove the hard, unscrew the hard drive cover, it tilts up slightly. Just lift it off. So there's a black tab here. This black tab helps you pull up the hard drive. As you see, I haven't removed the screw yet, so that's why my hard drive is not coming off. Here's the screw. So now we have removed the screw, the hard drive comes off relatively pretty easy. Now we're going to remove the RAM. The RAM cover is here, there's one screw holding the RAM cover down. There's two RAM slots, so that means you can have maximum of 16 gigs to 8 gigs in each slot. This laptop uses DDR3, so you can use DDR3 or DDR3L. The newer laptops use DDR3L, so you only can use one. So here, so you just push away the two sides and the RAM pops up. And just take it out. Now we need to remove every screw on the back to remove the back cover. I'll just point out to you all the screws now. For the back cover, there's three different types of screw, so remember where you remove the screw from and look at the screw when you remove it, so you know what type of screw it is. As you can see, the there's three screws at the battery section. The battery section screws are the smallest, and there's also two hinge screws, which are the largest, and all the rest of the other screws are the same. Here is the hinge screw I'm removing now. This is the large screw, and there's only two of them, one left and one on the right side.
now that we've removed all the screws there's also one more screw where the ram slot is so now we've removed all the screws finally we need our prying tool to go around the edges to unclip all the plastic clips so we can remove our back cover So here's the wi our wireless card. We need to remove our wireless antenna cables first. And there's one screw holding the wireless card down. After it tilts up, just remove it. I'm just going to put the wireless card back as it's unnecessary for me to remove it. As it doesn't hinder any removing, hinder anything else. So here's the graphic card, here's the fan, here's the CPU, and this black thing here is the BIOS battery. Some people have been asking me about it. It's just gonna, I'm just gonna, I just removed the fan cable, the fan power cable, fan power cable. Now I'm gonna remove the heatsink for the CPU and the graphic card. On the CPU heatsink and graphic card, there's actually numbers on it. It, the numbers tells you what to screw in first when you put it back on. When you remove it, you don't have to follow the numbers. Just follow the numbers when you put it, screw it back on. Remember, when you remove the heatsink, you must replace the thermal paste. And when you replace the thermal paste, don't use cheap thermal paste and remember to clean off your old thermal paste. Thermal paste is relatively cheap, only costs $10 and you use it for a lifetime basically. So after I remove three screws of the heating, there's one screw on the fan and there's two screws on the graphic card heating. So now that we remove the screw, we can lift it up. Just going to show you the old thermal paste. Here you go, so there's two areas, that area and that area. There's the fan. The fan's a bit dusty. I'm going to show you the screws on the fan. There's three screws on the fan that you have to remove to remove the fan. So I'm just going to get a towel to wipe off the foam place. You don't need any special liquids or alcohol to remove it. Just clean it off with a cloth properly and it should be fine. So now that I cleaned it off properly, just to show you. Remember to clean the thermal paste off your CPU and your graphic card as well. The CPU here is replaceable. You can actually change your CPU. The graphic card is soldered on and you cannot replace it. There's no M SATA slot if any of you guys want to know. So this is the graphic card that I'm cleaning now.
So I'm just going to show you that you can remove the CPU. You need a flathead screwdriver to turn the black thing anti-clockwise, half a circle. And the CPU comes out. To show you where the, what the CPU looks like. Please note the triangle on the bottom corner. It tells you the direction the CPU goes in. So the bottom corner goes with this bottom corner. You can't see it properly. But on your motherboard, you'll see there's one of the corners. They look different to all the rest. So now we're going to remove the fan. We need to remove three screws to remove the fan. So, to remove the fan, there's this black sticky tape here, we need to remove it. Also, we need to remove this black thing, that's also sticky tape, so don't worry about it. If you want to reuse your sticky tape, make sure you don't get it dirty, so you can just paste it back on. So here you go, I've removed the fan. Just to show you, the heating is clean, there's no dust on it. But for the fan, it's actually quite dirty. You can see the, there's dust around the center. So I'm just going to get my vacuum cleaner to vacuum it. So here again, now that I vacuum that, it's all clean. I'm just going to reassemble my fan, putting the stick tapes back. Sorry about that, I went off screen a bit because I did the stick tape off the screen. So here's my thermal paste, Arctic Silver 5. This costs $10, $20. So you can use it once in your life, so don't be cheap. For your graphic card, put a half a rice grain size on it. And for your CPU, put a rice grain size of thermal paste on it. And remember not to spread it out, just leave it in the center.
So I'm just showing you the numbers. There's number one there, number two, number three, number four is on the bottom, number five. That's the order you which you have to screw it in on. to screw, plug in your power cable and screw back in your fan screw and that's basically it this disassembly is relatively easy as all the screws are on the back basically and by removing the back it exposes everything there's no really re no reason for you to remove everything, but just remember there's a few number of screws. So remember which screw goes where, so you don't put the wrong screw in the wrong hole. Thanks for watching.